And Jimmy, you know, Devontae Adams afterwards, after his 46-yard appearance, uh, with a shoulder injury yeah, lingering, AC, yep. hasn't mm -hmm. been able to practice, he said, if we're only going to throw me the ball when I have single coverage, I'm only going to have 22 catches on a year. True. He said, we have to figure out how to give me the ball more, even after a win. I don't think he was taking a shot at anybody. I think he was just talking a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So... Devontae doesn't have, like, this massive night. They still win. Yeah. Interesting time for the Raiders right now. Interesting. Uh, you know, still a receiver like that, once again, we always talk about players who change the math. He's definitely one of those guys, and he'll be out there. He'll be drawing shell coverage over the top of him or double teams. So, yeah, you have to scheme up ways to still get him the ball, just like we saw with Jamar Chase when he was kind of made some comments. You saw they made it a point to get him the ball. So Josh McDaniels, even last year, I think it was early in the year, it took him a while to really start feeding Devontae how they should be. He's a guy who's going to create space. I don't care how many guys you put on him. It's going to be a point in the route where he's open. So Jimmy G's got to find him. Joining us now is a man who threw a lot of balls to yeah. Devontae Adams. Mm -hmm. No matter how many people were covering him, and no matter what the play was called, a ball was potentially going to 17 in a massive moment from this man's hand. This man, four-time NFL MVP. This man, new quarterback for the New York Jets. This man, walking faster than any human has ever walked after tearing his Achilles. This man gives nicknames that start jerseys in pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers. Yay! Yeah. What's up, dude? Hey, what's going on? Hey, great to see you. Let's uh, piggyback off what we were just talking about. Devontae Adams, after the game, was asked about his production last night, had 46 yards. Then he said, if we're only going to throw me the ball when I'm single coverage, I'm only going to have 22 catches. At what stage did Devontae start becoming the focal point of defenses? And at what stage do you, as a quarterback with Devontae Adams, just have to not care about any of that and know that he's going to make a play? Uh, Devontae's always open. Um that's the facts. Uh, you know, cover to him is just different than other people. He, he's got just an incredible uh, skill set. He's got range. He's got uh, ball skills. He can uh, create separation. He's the best in the league at late hands. So you just got to stick with him. And listen, I, I watched I watched the game last night. I love Devontae. Uh, he's still, you know, dear friend of mine. Uh, I thought he handled everything really, really well because that game meant a lot to him. You know, going back against your former team, four targets, that ain't it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he, you would understand why he would maybe be uh, feeling a certain way after the game. And if you're Jimmy G, obviously you've been in this position before, and take us through this because whenever somebody says they're always open, they're always open, I don't think we fully understand it. Like even if somebody is standing on him or two people are on him, still a guy that you give a chance to. Is that what you, what everybody means whenever it's like always open or what What does it exactly mean for a quarterback? Well, look, I mean, the, you know, Jair is a fantastic player for sure, and I love Rasul. Rasul is a great competitor as well. I, those guys weren't, you know, singled up a lot. You know, it wasn't like – job was following them all over the field and it was just one-on-one -on -one matchup i think that's a misnomer it's like there's not these one-on-one -on -one matchups anymore in the league really you know like like last week you know we we had two days ago we had uh, you know garrett and pastor tan who's phenomenal you know phenomenal player and they're like oh it's gonna be a great duel between pat and garrett no you know you motion from one side to the other a lot of times unless they're a man covers the corner stays back side so you're not even getting that matchup all the time now there are certain times where pat traveled with garrett and you saw some uh you know some of that matchup but just like last night you know they moved Devonte around they put him in a slot jaw's gonna stay outside in those situations uh plus they had a lot of help for him uh but when it comes to, to feeding them you, you just gotta you gotta give him an extra look you gotta give him an extra look uh, because he's able to do things on different timing. And there was a comment last night about, you know, like Jacoby Myers, you know, gets open on time or something. Well, that was like the gist of the comment. And I was just kind of laughing at myself going, that, that's an uninformed opinion that actually isn't based on fact at all. Because like, the facts are that what Devontae does in the line of scrimmage, what Devontae does down the field is like no one else can do. And you have to give him opportunities. We, we played Minnesota uh, a couple years ago, his, our last year together, and they say, you know what, we're going to play two trail. We're going to play a two-man trail on him. And we had two hitch conversions against two trail because literally they didn't. They thought there's no way they're going to throw this ball. we got a guy underneath. we got Harrison Smith over the top. And I just said, we talked on the sidelines. He goes, hey, I think we can fit a couple quick hole shots in there. And we did. And we're just kind of laughing because it just they don't expect that to happen. But you have to kind of stick with certain plays and trust that Devontae is going to going to be open because that's, you know, when you got an offense 
and you're trying to be dynamic, you got to get the ball to your to your best player. So, listen, I mean, it's tough. They try to take him away. He's going to be the focus of every single game plan. But you got to still find ways to uh, to get him by more than uh, than four opportunities. I think Jimmy G is going to be pumped to hear all that. By the way, like legitimately yeah. coming from you, it would make sense. Go ahead, AJ. Oh, I mean, it's 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 no, legit. I'm saying like he's probably going to listen and be like, okay, like that makes sense because so he wants Devontae to be great too. You know what I mean? I don't think he wants to deal with that. Don't you think, Aaron? Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay, good. All right, sweet. <laughs> I think we just he made the Rangers the better. You throw it to 17, you're like, you're gonna, life's going to get better. Life's going to be better. Stats are going to be better. Offense is going to move smoother. Like, you know, you got you to gotta give him some chances. Go ahead, AJ. I'm not talking specifically about Devontae. We know he is different, but have you seen quarterbacks in the past or has it ever happened to you where you feel like, all right, this guy's not getting enough targets. He's a stud. I got to find a way to get him more looks, and you have to force the ball to him. We always hear about this, like – if a stud like OBJ or something comes to a new team, oh, are they going to feel like you have to force some balls just to try to get him going? Is that a real thing? I think there's a few things at play. One, uh, you got to you got to find ways to get the get a guy a ball early in the game. I think to get him to get him into the game and get him feeling good about uh, uh, being a part of the mix. And so we, you know, that's we would use run solutions a lot of time as those things. So we have a run call, then we have. Uh, you know, just a little smoke route, line of scrimmage, or maybe a one-step slant, and trying to get him or a bubble. I always tried to get him a ball early in the game, and I did it with Jordy Nelson as well, um, and Greg Jennings and uh, Driver over the years, where you just you want your best player, your best skilled player, to kind of get in, feel like they're a part of the game early, just so they kind of get in. So get him a couple balls early uh, to get him going. Um, and you know, it's again, it, it's a different uh, when you say force feed. It's a different meaning with a guy like Devante compared to somebody else because he's just more open than than uh, than probably everybody else on the team. And he has a wider catch radius and all these things that I mentioned earlier. So you have to kind of find a way to get him involved. Sorry, I got a BFR. I got my BFR going. Is that thing putting your Achilles back together? <laughs> <laughs> I, it sounds like a bunch of people just came out and like, let's go out and pizza. Yeah, it's five-minute sequences here. So this is we, we set this up so I can – I'm in the middle of rehab, so I have a five-minute uh, window where now Hell it's yeah. all pumped up. Hell yeah. And I appreciate it. And then, you know, so in 10 minutes, you're going to hear that noise again if we're still doing this. So. Hey, sounds good to me. But I appreciate all this information because I think a lot of us, whenever we hear like, hey, he only had this amount of targets, and then somebody could say, well, he was covered, and then analytics people will be like, well, he was more covered than this. What you're saying is there's some people that that is not like – it does not matter. And Devontae is one of well, those it, humans. Pat, it's that, but it's also – you know, you got to find ways to take the double off. If you're going to if you're going to set them up outside, and especially outside the numbers every single split, you're going to get doubled a bunch, right? But if you move in slot, if you motion, if you get them into, you know, number three and a three by one, and throw them a bubble maybe to get going. They, you know, on that drive where he had three of his four catches, you know, you saw they put him in the slot. He ran a looky route. Packers are bringing pressure. Preston was kind of, you know, no man's land there, and people were wondering why the hell he's doing it. Well, every now and then you got to bring a pressure, and you have to drop an end. Like, that's part of it. You know, like Jimmy G did a good job looking off to the right, to holding the backer to the right, and then, you know, coming back to to, uh, to Devontae, and then they came back. Yeah, it's beautiful. You get the clip right there. And then came back, and he threw him a screen, I think, uh, in one of the next plays, and then you hit him, in, you know, on third down the red zone. But it's, you know, you got to, you, you, you know, the last part of this is, is something that happened over time. When you have a player that comes from another team, right, you know how much that means to them to go back and play your former team. Like, as a quarterback, there's just something that's like, man, I want to get this guy a touchdown. I want to get him involved. I want to make him feel, you know, because we're all competitors. You want to be, you want to make them feel like, hey, you messed up. You know, you messed up not not bringing me back. And, and you just, there's something in you. It's like, I got to throw this guy a touchdown. I got to, you got to get this guy a ball. You know, in the red zone, I got to get this guy a lot of opportunities. Um, so, I, you know, look, Devontae had the way, right way. He's a pro, and Jimmy's doing the best he can. And he, I felt like he played a pretty clean game last night, and they got the win, uh, which is the most important thing. But if you want to be dynamic, and we went through stretches like this over the year, where you know Devontae didn't get the amount of you know uh, targets that he probably should have in that game. In the following game, it was always like. All right, 15 targets coming your way. Yeah, that's like A.J. Brown a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And then for our team, the Colts, we had Andre Johnson from the Texans, obviously, on the mm -hmm. Colts. I think he maybe had like 20 yards the rest of the season. Against the Texans, he went for like 360, four touchdowns. <laughs> Andrew Luck was like, where are you? How are you? Let's go ahead and do this entire thing. It's interesting because the humans that are involved with